Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Bullet Journal by Chloe and today I'm going to show you how to use your Neapolitan journal and how to create a theme that crosses over two different colour pages. Let's have a look. These are my two current journals. So this is my current journal. This is the journal that I used at the beginning of the year. So let's have a look at the B5 first. So I'll show you how I use the pages that there's two colours of um, and in the blog post I'll show you how to decide on a theme. So for this one, this is my setup. I can show you some more of it. This was my setup for the year. So when I got to the point of crossing over into different color, into the craft paper, um, I just continued the theme into it and just carried it on. So this one's pretty simple. Um, as you can see, I didn't use this. There will be a lot of stuff in this that I probably didn't use, especially within this journal. Um, I created lots of different spreads that I found that I just didn't actually need. So moving on into January. So this was my theme for January. And now I'll show you how I crossed between the craft and I think it was black paper. Yes, it was. Okay, so another one of these pen tests. I love doing these pen tests, um, especially because I didn't know how the pens would hold up on the different types of paper. So whenever I go to change it into a new um, colour page, I always try and do a pen test. Um, and then here I just done a budget tracker. But as you can see, I've continued that theme on. But rather than using black pen for my outline here, I've used a white pen instead to make that pop because obviously black wouldn't be very visible. So yeah, that's how I've done that. So what I do for each month, if I have a look at the front of the book, so I will take two sections of colour and that will be one month. Then I'll take another two sections of colour, that will be the next month. So that's how I work out um, how many pages I have per month and it's plenty enough. Um, sometimes I have more than enough pages for the month. So finally, at the end of the month, I just done um, going into the white because I always like the cover page to just be the two colours rather than the mix of the colours. So for this one, as you can see, I've just done a drawing and a goodbye January letter to myself. So yeah, that's another way that you can. And again, you can see I've used the white um, pens and the gel pens on here. And on this one, I've switched over to the black pen. So for February, I used white paper and craft paper. So to kind of like foreshadow that I'm going to go into craft paper, I used craft paper on the spreads that were on the white paper. If that makes sense, I'll show you. So you can see here, I've done craft paper. I've used craft paper here. And then if I go and show you how I've mixed the two different colors. So on this one, I had two different trackers, but as you can see now, I'm starting to use white paper on the craft. So it still all ties in together. Um, it still keeps the thing matching and cohesive. And yeah, it's a good way of making it all still mixed together. So moving on, this one is another one where I've done like an art page here and a tracker that I didn't finish on this side. Um, and as you can see for this month, this technique, the neon technique, worked really well on black and white paper. So I didn't really need to change anything going over into the white paper. Uh, that was pretty straightforward and easy. And finally, moving on to this spread. So again, these are two trackers that I done. Again, I haven't finished them. <laughs> so on the craft paper, I've used blacks. And as I've gone into the, what, the black paper, I've used white pen instead so there's the contrast it still looks the same even though it's got the white outline rather than a black outline instead okay let's have a look at my current journal so this is my current journal let's have a look what one did on this signpost first okay so for this first month i used painted flowers as my theme so I was a little worried if this was going to come up on the black paper. So I did do a little test first, but as you can see, it comes up really nicely. Um, 
and you can really make the themes match even though that they're on different color paper so as you can see i used that across the theme as well as using it on the craft paper let's have a look at another one i've done this month so again this one i've used so i know i'm going into craft paper so i've used craft paper within this theme so it matches when i go along so as you can see i've used craft paper um, I can still stick to this theme even when I move into the craft paper because all the pens come up pretty much the same as when they do on the white, as you can see, here we go. So as I've gone into the craft, I've started using some white paper to match with the craft. So I'm crossing over the different papers. Um, so when I do cross over into the craft paper, it still matches. Um, yeah, and it works really well. So this month in November, this is what I'm currently working on. I'll show you something that I'm working on at the moment. It's not completely done, but this is what I'm working on at the moment. So I'm using the pages where it crosses to make a Dutch door. So this is gonna be like a mini weeklies here. These will be my mini weeklies um, for this month. And I wanted to cross it across here because for this theme, I'm going to do the Pokemons like this on the black paper, but when I move over onto the white paper, I'm gonna make them into like cute Pokemon. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do like a clash around the border to show the two themes clashing. So even though they're both Pokemon, they're one's more um, like bold and fiery, where the other one's gonna be really cutesy. So yeah, that is how I use my Neapolitan journals. And that is how I cross over between two of the different color pages. If you wanna know more how to set up a theme using a Neapolitan journal and using two different color pages per month, make sure you check out my blog post. There'll be more information there and I'll see you all soon. Bye.